LED backlighting artifacts explained. Again. When I talked about the differences between LED and LCD televisions, I talked about the fact that LED backlit televisions can cause a certain type of artifact against starry night backgrounds and other patterns that have very high contrast in very close proximity. And a whole bunch of people wrote in to say, no, I was totally off my rocker. They had an LED television and they didn't see these artifacts and that I was just a poor ass person who couldn't afford to buy the actual television that I wanted, so I was making excuses. So I thought I would explain why it is that the LEDs have this particular type of artifact, explain how you can see the type of artifact, and then demonstrate it in the video so that you know what you're looking for. LED backlit televisions work by having a whole row of little LEDs behind the liquid crystal display panel that it lights up. And as a result, you know, LEDs are very large compared to the size of pixels. And so you've got a cluster of like four pixels that is lit by an LED. This is backwards of how it would be. But as a result, if this pixel is white and this pixel is black and they're next to each other, they're not going to light up correctly. One, I mean, you have to compromise. The LED backlit is going to be at 50% brightness, or it can be at 100% brightness and the black won't be as black as it should be. So you're constantly compromising with this dynamic adjustment of how bright the white is and how black the black is. And as a result, you end up with these weird little artifacts around stuff. And those artifacts are called min-max artifacts because if you have a high minimum, I'm sorry, if you have a very low minimum brightness and a very high maximum brightness, the LED behind it has to either be extra bright and crush the black moving it up so it's not as dark as it should be, or it has to be too dark and it will move the whites down. It can't actually display the full range. The result is that the picture has weird little edge issues. And so the video, I'm going to do some post-processing, but right about here, there's just a little bit. Like this is the equivalent of one pixel being represented by four, or I'm sorry, one LED lighting up four pixels, which would be better than what any of the LED televisions that are out there are. And this is 1 equals 9. And this is 1 equals 16, which is pretty close to what they look like. Now, this is, of course, blowing out the artifacts a bit because YouTube isn't going to be the 100, you know, 1080p full resolution kind of stuff. So, and then normally you'd have. 0 to 255 and YouTube only has 16 to 233 something like that I should have known that I'm sorry 15 minus 16 240 um, so yeah so it's not going to be quite exam but I'm trying to show more of it than you would so that you know what you're looking for you know by exaggerating the example um, and so at this point, it should be run most of the way to the edge to where you're seeing a very muddy picture of me with very bright whites and very black blacks and chunkies, like parts of me that should be white are gray and parts of me that are gray are black or white. And I have to do this in post so I don't get to see what it really looks like. But hopefully this picture is working out well for you and, and yeah. This, this is what the LED is doing. And if you actually walk up to the television and look at a still image or look at a starry background, Star Wars is great for showing this off, uh, you'll see it. So that's what the LED artifact I'm talking about is. It's called a min-max artifact. Um, sometimes it's also called a dynamic contrast artifact, but it's really still just a min-max artifact. Uh, on an LED television, you can turn the feature off on most of them, so then you're just getting suckier than LCD performance, uh, but you get all of those energy savings that come from running an LED television. So, um, and 
at a distance of 10 feet, you're probably never going to see this particular artifact. So that's what I was talking about. I'm not insane. It really does happen. And it's not because I'm just cheap and didn't want to buy an LED television.